Inspired by historical events and characters, this work of fiction was designed, developed, and produced by a multicultural team of various religious faiths and beliefs. You gotta love that trailer. Hello everyone and welcome back to Devoid's LPs. If you're just joining us, welcome to my channel. If you're glad from this channel, then you're interested in seeing me, Devoid, fight the minions of evil back to the abyss they came from. And in this series, we're playing Assassin's Creed 2. Uh, by far a wonderful game, my, uh, my one of my favorites of the Assassin's Creed franchise. And uh, like the last Assassin's Creed LP, the, each episode should last around 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, let's go and jump in. My name is Desmond Miles. I'm a prisoner of war. A war I never knew existed. Waged by two groups I never thought were real. Templars and assassins. The Animus showed me the truth. The things I've seen, the things I've been. A thousand years of history flowing through my veins, brought to life by this machine. They're using it, using me to search for something. Call it the apple. It's an artifact, one of many so-called pieces of Eden. The Templars collect them. It's how they stay in power. And if the Templars get their hands on another one, everything will change. They want to make us all their slaves. When they first brought me here, I was afraid of what would happen if I tried to fight back. Now? Now I'm afraid of what will happen if I don't. But I can't do it alone. And maybe I don't have to. I met someone. Her name is Lucy. I 
think she's on my side. She's gone now. She's taken away by that bastard Warren Vidic and his Templar masters. I don't know what will happen to her, or what'll happen to me. All I know is I need to get out of here. And I need to do it soon. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. And the game begins. I'm officially controlling Desmond right now. This is the exact point in the game where uh, Assassin's Creed 1 left off. <laughs> if you saw the last uh, last LP, you'll know this. Is, we were literally looking straight at this wall. It's kind of funny. We have to go. Lucy, where have you been? Why did they... Now. Okay. Uh, huh. Uh, like most of my not-so-blind LPs, I have played this game before, but I haven't played it in a while. Get in. What's with the blood? Are you okay? Look, we have maybe ten minutes, maybe, before they figure out what I've done. If we're not out of here and on the road before then... Wait, we're leaving? Desmond, I promise I'll answer all of your questions. Later. But right now, I need you to just shut up and do what I say. So please, get in the Animus. All right. Press any button. Hurry I can up, do Desmond. that. Anyway, uh, like the others. Okay. Like the others, uh, I haven't played this in a while, so some some things may catch me off guard. Uh, so yeah. What is this? Okay. Okay. Suddenly to a delivery. Spingy! Spingy! Di nuovo! Si, si, brava! It is a boy! Oh my love, me dispiace, I, I was at the bank when they told me. Did I miss it? Am I too late? Give him here. Giovanni. Shh, my love. It will be all right. Tu sei un auditore. Sei un combattente. Perciò, combatti. Okay. Funny thing is, uh, when I first played this game, this was my first Assassin's Creed game. Uh... So I did not know any of the controls. I actually wound up pressing many different keys. Uh, this time around, I'm, I'm using an Xbox controller, so I do know what the buttons do. Uh, empty hand, B, armed hand, X, and head, Y. Listen to him. A fine set of lungs. And what shall we call him, my love? Ezio. Ezio Auditori da Firenze. And so we have our protagonist. Get up. Let's go. God, that's trippy. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need a second. There isn't time, Desmond. We have to leave. Okay. Like I said, um first time playing through this I did not know, know the controls so I did not know that if you hold the uh, legs button or oh no, no the high profile button uh, you can run oh, really getting out of here huh like that I did not know that so I just like wind up Sturgo's got some fucked up interior decor walking around why stay close hey you're not supposed to be up here open this door I'm calling it in we have a breach in the research wing. I repeat, right. there's been a breach in the research wing. Requesting nice backup from all of them. Fancy. Why are they... There they are! Don't let them get away! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Holy shit! <laughs> Lucy kicking some butt here. Woo! Look at this place. 
And elevator. Was an elevator? What about the cameras? No. I rigged them to loop old footage. How do you think I managed to hide all your nighttime snooping from Abstergo? You're good. So I've been told. But they're on to us now. We need to hurry. Okay. So we run this way. Careful. Why can't I run? I am not able to run. We need to get to that elevator on the other side of the room. Follow my lead, but keep an eye out for security. I'd rather avoid a fight. Okay. Okay, so... Now I'm able to run. Okay, there we go. This is some interesting dialogue, so I'll try to keep keep quiet a little. I'm just gonna walk around. Is that an animus? Stay close. The oh boy. They're just gonna saw. Stay back. Oh jeez. I can't, I can't fight. Oh, there we go. I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> of course. Careful. Maybe I still use the Assassin's Creed one with controls. And am I? What do you think, Lucy? Lucy? Let me deal with these assholes. What do they need with all of them? Desmond, shut the fuck up. <laughs> She said that while she was beating some guy in the face. Ah, Lucy Stoneman, a woman of million talent, many talents. <laughs> That's great. Fuck. I thought this card would work. It must be on a separate system, and I don't have the code. Wait. Okay, so we see Desmond now has the ability to use Eagle Vision from Altair. How did you do that? I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> it's always something. What was that in the Animus? Subject 16? Ezio, Audi, Audi something? I think we've been wrong all along. That's why we need to get out of here. Vidic and the Templars, they're only part of the problem. What do you mean? I'll explain when we get there. Get where? <laughs> Desmond, what are you doing? Okay. Hi, guys. You guys having a party? Punch? Get it? Punch. <laughs> I made it funny. <laughs> Without even trying to. the side of pound cake. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to stretch this joke out, and it's not working. Oh, uh, excuse me. It's my face you're punching. <laughs> ah. Okay. Wow. You took those guys out, and I only managed to get three. <laughs> Jeez. Whatever. Get in. You're joking. It's for your own protection. Oh, man. <laughs> We're almost there. Almost where? Okay. So we can see Desmond mumbling in the dark. Interesting. Thanks for that. It was great. Shoving the trunk, bouncing around. Loved this it. way. <laughs> so, gonna tell me what's going on now? There was a reason for the escape, Desmond. Figures. We need your help. For what? Another treasure hunt through time? Abstergo's gonna replace their Apple of Eden. The map your ancestor found guarantees it. The other assassins, they'll do what they can, where they can, but... What? What is it? We're losing this war, Desmond. The Templars are too powerful. And every day, more of us die. I still don't see how I fit into things. We're going to train you. Turn you into one of us. 
What? No. No, you've seen me in action. I'm no good at this, and even if I was, it would take months. Years, even. No. Not with the Animus. Not with the bleeding effect. But I'm just one guy. Sometimes, that's all you need. So that's why you found him. My ancestor. What was his name? Ezio? If you can follow in his footsteps, you'll learn everything he did, just like he did. Years of training, absorbed in a matter of days. You broke me out of Abstergo and brought me here just to make me an assassin? Look, there's more to it than that, but it'll have to wait. Trust me, okay? All right, I'm in. Tell me what you need. Really? You're sure? I thought you'd be happy about this. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little surprised. I spent the whole ride over here figuring out how I was going to convince you to do this. Save it. After what those Templar bastards put me through, I'm ready, willing, and able. Thank you. Okay. So apparently what we're supposed to be doing is going through the life of Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Lucy! You made it! And God, we meet the two so other... Long. Seven years! Can you Gertrude. believe it? Indeed. Welcome back. Ah, so this must be the infamous Subject 17. Desmond Miles, was it? Who are you? I'm sorry, where are my manners? I'm Sean Hastings. This is Rebecca Crane. Nice to meet you, Desmond. Right, well, it's been lovely chatting, but if you don't mind, Desmond, it's best we get straight to work. Time is precious. Doubly so these days. We've got everything set up and ready, Lucy. Just say the word and we'll get going. Here, I brought you something. A parting gift from Abstergo. Whoa! The memory core! This is amazing. With their data, things are gonna go a lot faster. I'll get to work on merging the code. So that's what she pulled out of the Animus. Okay, so now we get to walk around. Uh, it's a nice little place. Uh, wouldn't mind having this as an apartment, honestly. I'd do a lot of stuff with it. But uh, it's a really big TV. I want that TV. Um, I believe once throughout the game we actually uh, lay down that bed. Uh, but what we need to do now is talk to people. Talk to people. Can I talk to people? Okay, uh, talk. Hey, listen. I just wanted to say thank you. And that uh, I'm sorry. Sorry? Yeah, you know, before. Everything at Abstergo. It was just... I wasn't ready. It's okay. No. Going through all that. Knowing that the Templars still exist, what they're planning. What's done is done, Desmond. You're here now, and that's what matters. Hmm. <laughs> Lucy, I've been seeing things. Symbols in my bedroom. The code on the keypad. Just like Altair. It's from the bleeding effect. You're taking on more than your ancestors' memories. You're taking on their skills, too. In this case, Eagle Vision. Skills? You're more receptive now. So if all goes well, everything Ezio learns in the Animus, you'll learn too. You really think this will work? That I'll become an assassin? You already are an assassin. You'll just be better at it. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> much better at it. I mean, seriously, I saw the tapes from Abstergo. You didn't even try and escape. What a dick. <laughs> uh, uh. Sorry, Desmond. I've got some stuff to take care of. Okay, okay. We can talk more later. These three, these three right here. Uh, travel with you for the next uh, two or three games. Uh, forget which, but uh, they're like my favorite trio of people ever. Okay, talk to Sean. What's all this stuff for? This stuff, Desmond. Oh, this stuff is nothing special, really, this stuff. It's just the stuff that keeps our entire operation from falling apart, really. It requires a great deal of concentration to keep it all moving, so you'll forgive me if I don't have time to play meet and greet. Sean's in charge of maintaining our knowledge archives. It's like a digital library. He'll be riding shotgun with me while you're in the Animus. So if you come across anything of note, people, places, events, etc., he'll create database entries you can consult for additional information. Yeah, it's not just databases, though. I also provide tactical support for the other assassins. You know, Desmond, the ones who are out there, actually doing stuff, risking their lives, little things like that. He's kind of stuck up, but I like him. Hello, Desmond. Go, Go away. away. All right, all right, all right. Jeez. Light my head off, please. That's what I wanted. 
Can I? I'm gonna get on this side of her just to make sure. Can I get on this side? Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, so I walk all around this side. Okay. There we go. Hey, Desmond. What's up? Just wondering what your role is in all this. I take care of Baby. It's my job to keep her up and running. Baby? You mean the Animus? Actually, I prefer Animus 2.0, since Baby's twice as awesome as anything you'll find at Abstergo. The Templars might have deeper pockets than us, but they've got no ambition, no passion, no competitive edge. That's why, even with all their resources, anything they can do, I can do better. Faster, too. Anyway, take a seat when you're ready, and we can get started. I just need to make a few more adjustments. Uh, I love these three. Um, Sorry, can't talk now. Can't talk now, okay. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I can't wait to get continue working with Assassin's Creed 2. And until Assassin's Creed 2 Episode 2 comes out, I'll see you all later.